Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. So in today's uh, video, we'll see how to build a Netflix clone in Cloud Run. So a quick disclaimer, I have not written a single line of code. Uh, so I'm using an existing GitHub code uh, a repo from a, a person called as CrazyMan22. So all credit goes to that person. So here it is just to see how we can leverage an existing code and build uh, something which is very popular streaming portals, right? So let's look into it. A quick shout out before we get into the stuff. Uh, so I'm starting my customized professional cloud architect training batch 10. So starting from uh, 3rd of uh, June, if you're interested, do reach out to me on my email ID or you can scan this barcode. You'll, you should be able to drop me an email so I can provide more details on it. On the similar lines, I'm also starting my customized uh, uh, professional data engineering training uh, starting from third uh, but it's in the evening time so all the times are in IST uh, another thing if you are interested in uh, having some doubt clearing sessions uh, a quick uh, uh, mock interview kind of stuff if you want to do those kind of stuffs uh, we should be able to also get in Get in touch with me uh, by going to topmate.io. So I'll put this link in the description if you're interested. So there are various uh, cards which I have. If you're interested, we can basically touch base. All right, with that, let's get into the actual demonstration. So first, let me show the GitHub repository. So this is uh, uh, the repository. I'll put also this link in the uh, description. Uh, very, very sleek stuff written in TypeScript. Uh, they also have a link here where if you click on this so if you click on this link you will also see a working piece of it without you doing any deployment you will be able to do it so let's try to deploy this piece so the procedure is very simple so the code is written in such a way that it is already dockerized all you need to get is this API key that's the only thing you can go to uh, the movie db.org which is completely uh, the login is going to be completely free you can also create an api key use that api key build a container image push it to contain artifact registry and deploy that into cloud run that's what we are going to do it so first and foremost stuff let's go ahead and uh, clone this repository so let me just go so this is the stuff so let me clone it and let's use get into the repo or the stuff so where you see all the stuffs so all i need to do now is do a docker build so docker build with the argument i have to pass it and i will show you the only change which i'm going to do is i'm not going to use a local repo meaning by default they think it is going to be pushed to a docker hub so we are going to use artifact registry so for that i'm going to use this repo interview repo and let's do this so this is my command docker build exactly the same stuff only thing is that i'm using the api key uh, so i'm going to delete this api key after this demo so that you will not be able to use it you can create it it's completely free so there's no harm so the only reason i don't want to leave it is uh, if there's any rate limiting i'm not sure so they should not uh, block that i uh, this thing that's the only reason nothing else so let me go ahead and build this so the build is going to be very fast the only reason is i have already done the docker image build before so if i do docker images it's going to be faster it's coming from the cache so all good uh, all now i need to do is uh, do docker push Sorry, Docker push. The moment I push it, uh, you should be able to see a new image. So let's just wait for this to be pushed. It's now pushed. So if I go to the artifact registry i should be able to see uh, my image pushed so let me click on this there's going to be few vulnerabilities but when you click on it it's not something very critical vulnerabilities is what you see it here 
so nothing critical so we should be able to go ahead and deploy this on cloud run so there's nothing currently so and just to give some uh, not some all the credits to this person i'm going to create a service with the name uh, netflix clone crazy man 2022 um, couple of things is what we have to do it in cloud run make sure it is allow unauthenticated invocation so that everybody is going to access it i'm also going to keep the url of this uh, cloud run uh, in the description if you want you can look into it i'm going to keep it for at least the next 30 days or so so you can look into it another thing which we have to do is change the port to 8080 why is because if you look into the docker uh, file uh, the exposed port is 80 so the nginx port so we have to change it if you leave it as 8080 it is not going to run so those are the only two changes which we did so let's go ahead and create it in next few seconds we should have a url up and running so let's just wait for it so it's getting deployed so we should see the url in next few seconds yep we have it so if i click on this you will see a url boom things are working so uh, so and uh, you can click on any of the videos you want so it will not play that video the only reason is copyrights right so uh, here it's going to show and these stuffs are coming from the uh, movie database so this is where it is coming up and showing those things so and if you click on any of the video it will always show a standard video so uh, I guess which is something like open like there's no restriction kind of a stuff that's my understanding <laughs> that's my understanding so any video you do it it's going to come to that so but it has all the capabilities of almost all uh, the stuffs which you see um, I'm not a great user of Netflix but something which was interesting one I thought of sharing it now why it is showing only one specific video is uh, if you go to the source and look at the pages the watch page here it is using a specific uh, uh, video that the video which you saw so looks like crazy man 22 had started with hard coding a video maybe in the local file system then commented it out so i'm also exploring this to make it because i i have some small videos which i wanted to see if it can be rendered in this kind of an interface so if you are a typescript expert do let me know how to basically fix this part in the in the comment section it would be really helpful uh, so maybe i can do one more video on that so how can you have some videos which is maybe it's in a google cloud storage bucket or in some place where we can read it and render it that's going to be an awesome one right so that's something which i wanted to share so how quickly we were able to do this so hope you like the video uh, do let me know your comments and your feedback in the uh, description happy to uh, respond back thank you for watching